Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's room tour time again. So drop a like on the video if you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check us out at our store at www.thefigurepit.com. All right, let's get started. We'll go around everything individually. You've got this side of the room and then everything on this side as well. So we start over here with the comic book stuff. I'll start off over here with the Demon Batman from Batman Begins with a custom cape. Pretty much the same as he always is with the cape wrapped around him. And then we have the Hot Toys Mark Hamill Joker. Very, very incredible head sculpt on him. Beautiful outfit. Really good body that they use for this one. Beautiful box. Just a really vibrant, accurate looking piece. And we've got the armory version of the Dark Knight suit. And I've got him on the quarter scale Dark Knight Rises Hot Toys Batman base. And I saw someone else do that. So I think I've seen a couple of people do it, so I just thought I'd try it out. And he's got a custom cape. It's looking pretty sweet. Definitely an awesome looking figure. And then we have the Heath Ledger Joker, which is comprised of a few different bits. It's actually the DX11 Joker, but with a custom head by Stephen Maurice. And it's just a, again, a very realistic looking figure. Incredible lightness, amazing paint job, great hair. Very, very nice. I wanted to show a little bit of the orange lining, so I just kind of Tucked it behind his thumb there. Seems to be holding well. And you got the money and the cards around him. So there's my little Dark Knight trilogy set up. And there's Batman Begins. Looking fierce, intimidating, and awesome. It's the Unreal Customs Master Sculpt with a Jackson cape. Uh, repainted gauntlets and the DC Collectibles Batman Begins statue base it just really really works just love looking at that thing from the side the thickness of the neck the aggressive looking mouth plate absolutely incredible yeah, that's the little Dark Knight section. There is a Selina Kyle over on the end of the shelf, plus a Bruce Wayne from Batman Begins, which we'll see in a minute. But they look excellent together. The three different bases. There it is. Oh, loving that section of the room right now. And then we have the beautiful, the stunning custom Adam Hughes Catwoman figure with the, the likeness taken from the front cover of the comics that I love so much. The very much Audrey Hepburn inspired look. But one six visage on Instagram is the man responsible for the sculpt here. Absolutely incredible work. Beautiful green eyes, the awesome paintwork on the lips. And you can see the nose and the cheeks. And a nice kind of, I don't know what quite to call it, but beautiful paintwork. Not just one flat tone. With the skin, mainly it matches up perfectly with the fire scent body that I'm using. And some little cats here. Gotta have some little one six scale cats with your Catwoman. There's the certificate of authenticity from one six visage. Beautiful box that it came in. And Gwyneth on Facebook responsible for the cat suit. Very accurate to the front cover of the comics. And just it was a dream come true managing to finally have a proper Adam Hughes Catwoman figure in the collection. I mean, I tried to 
kind of put them together myself um, using different head sculpts and trying to achieve that look in the past but thanks to one six visage it's it's official you know just come back a bit love that piece and the custom Joaquin Phoenix Joker and the Cult Creations custom wall behind him the live with Murray Franklin poster beautiful work on that by Glenn and he's got his Oscar and a rose and a cigarette his gun and he's just so relieved to finally finish this one thanks to all the awesome people in the community who contributed to this piece well, there's another little poster there as well from the newspaper he's got this little card detailing his condition with real text that you can read it's absolutely tiny but Amazing head sculpt with the cigarette pressed into the mouth there. It's incredible likeness. And the suit is comprised of different pieces, mainly M toys and some of the SW toys version, I think, and a few other combinations, I guess, but I forget to be honest, you'd have to go back and watch the last video I officially did on this one. He is awesome. And here's Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad by Hot Toys. All official Hot Toys stuff apart from the tongue, which was custom made by Andy Hibbs on Instagram, Facebook. Really adds a lot of character to the already character riddled figure. And I think this outfit is just instantly iconic and classic and will stand the test of time. And still my favorite uh, outfit that Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn has worn in any of the movies. Although that brief flash we saw where she was wearing that more kind of classic uh, Harley Quinn outfit was really cool looking. I was, tsh, damn shame Hot Toys didn't. You know, they've done figures on figures before that only appeared in the movie for like literally a couple of seconds. So they could have done it, but they still might. Who knows? But I did do a video recently where I put that head on this setup. So you can see what that looks like on the channel. It's just a couple of videos back. Fun little pose session. But I did see the Suicide Squad yesterday. The James Gunn movie. And while I... Yeah, it's definitely better than this original movie. It's better. But I don't think it's as much better as some of the reviews are kind of leading you to believe. Like the early reviews. The IGN review gave it like a 9 out of 10. I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. Which is still a really good score. I uh, really enjoyed it. You know, all the characters. I think Bloodsport... Idris Elba was incredible and <laughs> King Shark was great fun and the Polka Dot Man and all that stuff, really good. Definitely go see it at the cinema if you can. It's really crazy, it's an insane movie, but yeah, I enjoyed it, man. I would hope that we'd see more. And I do like the outfit, that kind of, well, the original one she was wearing at the beginning of the Suicide Squad, the black and red kind of, um, whatever it was. Not so much the dress look from later on in the movie, but that first outfit she was wearing was very cool. So yeah, there's the piece. I enjoyed the new movie and this is still my favorite look out of all the ones we've had so far from Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. And the heavily modified Arkham City Batman by Hot Toys. He's had the mod done where I removed sections of the rubber under the armpit to get the arms to lay more flat. I repainted all the blue sections black for a black and gray look. Uh, weathered the whole suit really gave it a black wash to get into the details and make it look a little bit more dirty scrambling across those rooftops crawling around in those sewers fighting folks like Killer Croc and all the rest of them are going to get dirty that's a beautiful piece but be careful I don't want to step on little Ruby I'm a little sleep right here sleepy baby uh, the custom cape, if I remember correctly, that's a Jackson cape. And just an amazing presence. 
having the arms laying flat like that by his sides really does just help with the overall just nice straight down kind of silhouette you see the shape that it casts his long pointy ears Kevin Conroy represented in the collection got to be done just like Mark Hamill's represented in the collection down there arguably you know the best Joker I'm not saying he's the best come on you know there's plenty of good Jokers but got to love Mark Hamill's Joker from the animated series in the 90s it was magic in the movies the animated movies and on to another Joaquin Phoenix Joker. This is the bathroom scene custom figure. Haven't changed the pose on him because why would you? You know, it's perfect. It's the moment where he, you know, hatches. I did the paint on the hair, oh, sorry, the paint on the face myself. That was just the Arthur Fleck sculpt that came with the Toys Era figure. I had to add the strands of hair on the forehead. The, the blood in the right spots. It's a very cool presence on the shelf. to the Ben Affleck Batman one six scale figure by Hot Toys from Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice amazing piece but a little bit of mods done to him cape swapping beef mods to puff the chest out more but an amazing stock figure straight out of the box the cape is by Unreal Toys and then holding the little picture tribute to little Jack Ridley R.I.P. that was his favourite Batman so a very, very cool piece. Still has one hell of a presence. And then we have the Shadow Ninja. And I've decided to rock the Hot Toys Bruce Wayne head sculpt from the Batman Begins Toy Fair exclusive version. Which I still think is pretty much the best Bruce Wayne sculpt. I mean, maybe not in quarter scale because some of them are amazing. But in 1-6 scale, I still think this is just undeniably him. Like, there's nothing about it that, you know, not like with the other ones like that came after this. And even the new one, I don't know, we'll check it out. I'm sure it's going to be cool, but I just love this sculpt right here. You know, it's from Batman Begins, and it captures that look perfectly the way his hair is when Ra's al Ghul is giving him the final test before it all goes wrong. Absolutely amazing piece. My favourite film, Batman Begins. So nice to see it with the sculpt for a change. But there's no denying it's ultimate badass look with the full ninja, you know, the headpiece and all that. Yeah. But I've been rocking him like that for years, so a little change. Put it back again. Once I get bored of looking at this. I wouldn't say get bored though. Look at that. It's awesome. And then the Hot Toys Dark Knight Rises Selena Kyle figure. Who may look incredible there on the shelf, but that suit is fragged. <laughs> like it's just deteriorating over time. Uh, if you're familiar, all the kind of shiny fake leather peeled off the boots, so I just had to take it all away. Now they're more of a kind of suede uh, feel to them, which is actually pretty cool. Same with the gloves. You can actually see uh, some of the damage there. See? See on the arm? And all around the top of her shoulder, which you can't see right now, but there's other spots as well. It's just the suit's just fragged. So I'll either have to, um, you know, get another suit, maybe a third party option or something. We'll see what happens. But for now, she still looks okay on display. But she has she's been through a fair few poses, though, to be fair. So I have posed her a lot, but I think it was inevitable with that suit starting to deteriorate over time. We'll see. But that's the top shelf done. And that took way longer than I thought it would. And we've only done one shelf, so. Now move on to the shelf below. 
Let's have a little peek around here before we go to the shelf. There's some Vampirella stuff. Some cool stuff. Thanks to Glenn Page for that amazing Batman down there. And some old VHSs. Classic filmage. What do you think about that? Some classic album action. You need to uh, investigate that. Go ahead and check that out. Some awesome artwork from folks in the community and some posters from special editions of Blu-rays and such. A little custom night vision skull there. The force is strong in the community. Jason Mask again, custom work there. There's the poster on the channel. It's pretty sweet. The guitar. Some cool stickers. Halloween and Taxi Driver. Nothing wrong with that. Alright. Mr. Armored Batman from Dawn of Justice. The custom mouth plate from 1 6 kit. And the spear does not come with the piece. Damn well should have. Came with the battle damage version. But he's a beast. You got the Scarecrow from Batman Begins, another one from the Dark Knight trilogy. Hot Toys figure. Had him since day one. Along with the demon. Very cool bad guy. Yeah, it's a great sculpt. He came with a straight jacket as well. Some folks like to get a 1-6 scale horse and put him on there and that looks pretty damn cool if I do say so myself. And we have the Sideshow Joker, what a piece. Got him in the kind of killing joke pose with the camera. The camera was from the Interbay Che Guevara figure. But an amazing sculpt, you get two different heads, two different jackets, coats, whatever. Spat shoes, added this little knife in his pocket. Excellent piece. Again, being very careful not to step on the dog. <laughs> but yeah, the Sideshow Joker is an amazing one. The only thing I don't like about this piece is the knee joints are just strange on this Sideshow body, so if you have it, you might know what I'm talking about. But excellent looking figure, though. Step over you. <laughs> And then we got the Harley Quinn and Catwoman bit. That's another Catwoman. She's got a completely repainted Sideshow head. That is the Sideshow outfit on a Firesend body. I think she's got Vampirella boots on though. Which worked really well. Had to add the little silver ring for her zip. There's Harley Quinn by Sideshow, the original one. With the body swap for Firesend body. And the bases go together nicely with the kind of present box there holding everything together. The two awesome looking pieces. I do love these original head sculpts. Much more than the new ones. Although it was really cool that Sideshow gave you a fire sim body with the updated version, but you know. To each their own beautiful box on this one as well wish I had a 1-6 scale poison ivy I hope someone does that officially soon in 1-6 scale I mean just would be so cool to have poison ivy in this little section right here in the middle I think we can all agree that would be pretty damn sick speaking of sick oh business there it is that looks pretty cool <laughs> you got the Jack Nicholson Hot Toys DX Joker, standout piece after all these years, still looks incredible. Look at that, look at those eyes. Incredible. Great sculpt. Hat is obviously removable. Coat's removable, it came with another version as well that you wore in the museum slash restaurant place. There's the Batman Returns, Hot Toys Batman, but with a Jackson cape, I believe. I still have my 89 Batman, he's just in storage at the moment. 
Not enough room on the shelf. At the quarter scale, NECA Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman from Batman Returns. Closed up real nice. And of course, Hot Toys Christopher Reeve. Superman. Classic piece. Everything on him is stock. No damage on the outfit. Some folks get cracks developing in their ass. Mine's looking pretty, pretty good. I'm just noticing the black around the outlines there. That looks a little bit suspect, but that's minor. I have had him since pretty much day one, thanks to Denny in Australia, bless him. An incredible gesture. Yeah, he's holding up all right. And that section right there, that's just pure nostalgia, my childhood. The earliest memory being Superman there. And then 1989 in Dublin, seeing this movie for the first time. And then when I was about 11, seeing Batman Returns, also in the cinema. Incredible experiences, good memories. And Diana Prince, Wonder Woman. This was thanks to one of my patrons. An amazing gesture, thank you so much if you're watching. I still love this piece, beautiful vibrant presence in the collection brings a lot of life to the shelf playing it safe with the joints I mean the outfit the vibrancy of it and the shield and the sword and the beautiful base and the box behind her and the gorgeous sculpt with the flowing hair is kind of enough to keep you interested you know the whip the lasso of truth beautiful stars on the skirt I mean it's just a beautiful tribute to all Wonder Woman really, Linda Carter as well. So really nice piece there. There is the Hot Toys Nightmare Batman but with a custom coat from 1-6 kit. Really big improvement over the one Hot Toys gave you and I have lifted the head kind of off the body or off the shoulders quite a bit and the scarf covers that up. But it does give you more of a look like he had in the Zack Snyder's Justice League clip at the end. Because he did lose a little bit of weight, so he just seemed a little bit more kind of long. A little bit more narrow. So, lifting the head up a fair bit off the shoulders just seemed to give me a look more in keeping with that. But a wire in the coat as well to allow for that kind of windswept out there in the dust. But look at that piece. It's intimidating, it's awesome. And then we've got the Darkest Night. A figure that I completely repainted, reworked, and turned into something really creepy. And all the scene of the crime at his feet. It's a custom cape as well. Beautiful work on that. Yep. So there he is. He's got his own showcase video on the channel. Plenty of video content on him if you want to see more. And then finally on this shelf we have the Medicom, Hush, Batman and Catwoman. I'm just looking at the different parts of you here trying to remember everything. It's not much different, it's just the cape is uh, a swap out. I used the Hot Toys Arkham City Batman cape on this guy instead. Just works a lot better. Very exaggerated proportions, meant to be out of the comic book so I don't mind that. And Catwoman by his side, really nice little display. That is the mostly DC. I guess it's all DC, isn't it? Yeah. All the DC stuff. And some more statues and Catwoman. We'll check out that stuff in a minute. But yep, very happy with how this display is looking at the moment. What do you guys think? What was your favorite figure from this side of the room? Let me know 
always fun to hear your thoughts and now we'll get started on the side oh now also on top of my amplifier we've got a travis bickle taxi driver figure the awesome Punisher War Machine, which I really want to put on the shelf, but like I have to mention every time, he's just too heavy for the shelves. I just worry that he eventually will bring him down. So he has to stay on top of the amplifier. Got some awesome NECA Back to the Future figures on the Sideshow T800 Endoscope. That's from T2. Amazing Batman Begins Cal. Shout out to Carl. There's another Vampirella. <laughs> or, depending on what mood I'm in, I always give her a different name, but she's got a Vampirella base, so... She's Vampirella. And it's uh, Elizabeth Olsen. Got some other stuff down here. Got Doggy. Hey, Doggy. Oh, you do what you want. Yes. And another little cat woman there as well. And this Melly dog. Who's a good girl? Ruby. Well, it is quite busy over in this section, but I don't mind it. It still looks cool to me, but I gotta try and fit in the Street Hawk stuff. I mean, considering just the amount of great memories that I hear from different movies, I just had to find a place for a Street Hawk. And I found a place for me werewolves. It's not as spread out as before, but it still looks pretty cool. Oh, and over here, got Vampirella back on the shelf where she should be. She's too heavy for one of these shelves, but I think she'll be okay on this little unit here. It's good wood. And the huge life size Art the Clown from Terrifier. The Trick or Treat Studios mask. And I cut the eyes out and put in these little plastic eyes that you can find on eBay. Dirt cheap. Great, great look. Got the Terrifier comic, book one. From the official site. That ball there, I swear that was in Stranger Things at one point, just briefly you see it. I've had that since I was a kid in the 80s. There's an awesome Rebore T-Rex, obviously based on the Jurassic Park T-Rex, the female. And the Bud Spencer figure from Caustic Plastic. Very, very high-end piece. Incredible, he's looking up at Vampirella like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, Vampirella herself. There's other videos on the channel if you want to see more of her. And then Pumpkinhead from Mark and Irene, an amazing gift. Absolutely love this one. We've got the DVD, sorry, Blu-ray there with one of the Pennywise figures from NECA. Got quite a few of those. One six scale Chucky. And then the Mega Scale Chucky from Mezco. That's an awesome piece. Check out the review for him on the channel. And check out the review for Pumpkinhead as well. That was good fun an awesome piece check out the film the first one if you haven't seen it it's stars uh, Lance Henriksen directed by Stan Winston absolutely awesome there's my 2018 mask repainted and rehaired by Simon Brandolino on Instagram absolutely incredible it's based on the Nick Castle copy that you can see on the YouTube video they're showing it in daylight in detail. I absolutely love this mask. Can't wait to get a kills mask from Simon. He's doing incredible work with that. But it's incredibly accurate. Terrifying. Speaking of terrifying, here is the Mezco pinhead. Shout out to Steve Rinks for the amazing gesture of this one and the 3.0 version down here. But it is the Mezco version that goes on display with the Slasher Kings. With some awesome 90s comics. Some cool posters for films that I like very much. That's one of my Favourite films of all time, definitely my favourite horror movie ever. Dog Soldiers, if you haven't seen it. Sort it out, see it. There's that incredible image of the Predator from Predator Big Game. 
Prime 1. Did a version of that recently. And I believe that one as well. That's a really cool image as well. Look at that. Badass. But yeah, then you got Michael Myers from Halloween 2018. Love that piece. I repainted the Tots mask and the hair. Did a dry brush with lighter brown. Really turned out great. Got the Tanila's Customs coveralls. Did some blood work on the hammer recently. Looks really nasty. Wanted it to look like a fresh kill. That's very wet. Und fresh. And it's blown off fingers. Look nice and tall, like he should be. Portions on him are really good. Awesome to have the box behind him with the film poster. The John Pearson pumpkin there. The Freddy. Awesome looking piece there. Comprised of different bits and pieces. Originally was the Sideshow figure, but I swapped the hat for the original old Sideshow Freddy hat. Repainted sections of the face, gave him a new custom sweater, new pants, new base. And he's just awesome. And then the original OG, the 78, the shape, Michael Myers, John Carpenter's Halloween. A lot of great stuff going on here. You've got a custom head sculpt from Ryan Harper. Amazing, incredibly accurate. And then the modified Bruce Banner body with the double bend elbows, great proportions, good height. And the final run Yunsil coveralls. And the phone from Doggy Dog Designs. And that came with the Budweiser can as well. Got the DX11 Joker repainted base, made into a Halloween base. And got the Beta Metalli 78 pumpkin, very rare. And the Shadow Fergo. Lance and knife. Absolutely love that pose. He's got very accurate boots as well. That's him. It's the original. And Jason. And a nice bloody machete. Here's the sideshow figure, weathered up. And Ghostface from Sideshow. Expecting his real custom metal knife from Shadow Fergo, I think tomorrow. So look out for a cool video on that and other weapons soon. Shadow Fergo does amazing work on Instagram, check him out. That's Shadow Fergo. Ooh, nice box as well. You check out the recent video where I told you how to uh, get the hood to kind of spread out a little bit more. A little trick. And then the custom Halloween 2 dream sequence hospital scene Myers, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, that is. That's that one. At the beginning of the movie, that terrifying scene in the hospital. That is huge. <laughs> The shine off that blade and the gore on it. Look at that. And the weathering on the coveralls, the one's customs head. Really creepy. Sounds like Michael Myers is breathing, but that is actually just Ruby. She just manages to find a way to always be right under my feet, bless her. She loves it. But yeah. Beautiful piece, hell of a presence. I mean, look how much bigger he is than everyone. It's huge. Can't wait for Art the Clown from Tots to be released. Can't wait for him to join the ranks, as long as, as well as Pennywise by Hot Toys. There is Mr. Leatherface from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre by 3-0. Got him at the figure pit. It's the figurepit.com. Check us out. Got some good stuff. Did a little bit of extra blood work on him. A little bit of work on his hairline. 
excellent piece. A little bit more blood on the chainsaw blade as well. Right, and then we have the Tots 78 mask that was repainted by Simon Brandolino again and rehaired by me using some really nice mohair that I got on eBay. It's been ages styling it and be satisfied with how that's looking now. Check out the hair. And you've got a little retro cloth neck of Sam from Trick or Treat. Another John Pearson pumpkin. The Cool Models 1 6 scale werewolf. I love that pose. Just creeping through the woods, looking absolutely terrifying. Incredible. I recently re reviewed this in 4K on the channel, so go check out that review if you haven't seen it. Awesome, awesome piece. And then the one of a kind Art the Clown statue. Only one ever made. A really nice special edition of the first movie there. Nice little enamel pin. That is a really, really cool, unique piece. Very big. And then the comics which you've seen. And that is the top shelf. Filled with all the iconic horror slasher icons throughout the decades. Absolutely love the way the shelf is looking. Cannot wait to add more characters to it. Cannot wait for Halloween Kills to come out. It's not too far off now. And then we'll go and take a look now at this shelf. It's a bit more random. Might put the Marvel stuff somewhere else soon. I'm not too sure where, but they just don't really seem to fit, but what are you going to do? Let's start down here with the Hot Toys quarter scale T-800 endoskeleton from the first movie. Absolutely flawless piece by Hot Toys. Incredible work on this. The range of movement is incredible. Everything that should move does. Mostly metal from the feel of him. I mean, he's very cold to the touch. Very accurate. It's amazing. I did put a bit of red paint on the eyes because he just doesn't look right unless the eyes are red. They do light up, but I didn't want to be messing around with batteries. And there's my Street Hawk stuff. That's an old Street Hawk official toy from the 80s. There's the old VHS I used to rent again and again and again until the guy said, you know what, just keep it. <laughs> Back when I was a kid. There's an amazing one tenth scale replica. The bike was separate. And then I just got a one temp scale motorcycle guy and just painted him to look like Jesse Mark in the suit. Pretty damn cool. The Robocop by Hot Toys, one of their best pieces. Arguably one of the very best films of the 80s. Got two really nice special editions there. And that one there at the bottom is the one that came with that cool poster. And then you've got Dread. Quite fittingly beside Robocop. There's the art figures dread. And Tyler Durden from Fight Club. My Blitzway. And the dyed dressing gown. It's a very cool piece. Stripe. And the original Gremlins by NECA. Holding on to a Coca Cola with ice. I was enjoying that. Yes, he is. Didn't come with that stand, just had to use a stand with him because he likes to fall over. Here's the Vampirellas. The Fire Sin bodies, and you've got some Mezco 112 scale horror guys here at the top. There are the 1 6 scale Vampirellas. The Vampires. Little 112 scale Fire Sin Vampirella there from Mark and Irene again. Amazing people, thank you so much. And it's actually the Queen of the Vampires head sculpt. So that's not really a Vampirella head sculpt, but obviously he's a vampire, so it works. I like her hair. That one's probably the best Vampirella made so far. And that box that I got separately, thanks to someone in the community. Here's the werewolves. 
the little ultimate necker Sam there. And you got this modified Sota Toys bust from American Wealth in London. And you've seen all this stuff before on the channel. Everything's got its own individual reviews. That's a nice little werewolf tribute there. Then we got the Hot Toys Black Panther from the Solo film. It's quite a sought after piece now. Excellent. Check out the review on him in the original Deadpool by Hot Toys classic piece. And then the Metal Gear Solid section here. Really, really pleased with this snake. I've recently replaced his body and fixed everything so that all the, uh, the um, connections between the boots and the ankle are all solid now and double bend in the elbows. There's Quiet with the Fison body. She's an excellent looking piece. And then the Pop Toys Tomb Raider. Absolutely love that one. Incredible figure. Also, very rare this one. I didn't realize that was going to be the case when I got her. I got the special edition that came with the big sort of robot diorama that she fights at the beginning when she's training. She also comes with different legs with kind of a long kind of, what was it like, like pants or something? I forget, I always just use the shorts. Here's Gizmo, another gremlin. He's hanging out with a beer. Little video game section. Little bit of Marvel. And then over here to the sci-fi horror we have Hot Toys Ripley in the original Alien film hello <laughs> and the beautiful steel book the original movie and the VHS but Ripley is such a great figure and there's the big chap Alien by Hot Toys I uh, recently re-reviewed the Alien as well so that's on the channel in 4k nice review on him and then you've got the Predator section. This is looking pretty sweet. You've got a big masked jungle hunter by Necker at the back. Predator 2, Elder. The Wolf. The City Hunter. And the original Jungle Hunter. It's just a savage looking piece. Still to this day. Got him thanks to the figure pit. So make sure you check us out. And that is that shelf. You know, a little bit more random than the others, but you've got to put them somewhere. And this end here, very much a kind of nostalgia vibe going on. Love that T-Rex. Some more NECA stuff down there. The shark. There's Ash. Now I did just swap over some parts on the Arkham Knight Catwoman here by Prime One. And as you know, if you're familiar with the channel, I've had her with the different arms with the whip kind of stuck under her foot, just kind of holding it down with the heel there. and. I had uh, this head sculpt looking this way, which is the way it's supposed to look. It's not supposed to be looking that way, but you can do it. And I think it actually looks really cool. So I've changed the arms out and now I've got her holding the diamond. And I had this little velvet bag. So I stuffed that with some paper to fill it out. And I've put it in the hand that's supposed to hold on to the end of the whip. So a really unique look that you're seeing here. Because once again, that head sculpt is not supposed to be facing that way, but it does work. You can do it. And it's just an amazing piece, man. I've sort of... Fell in love with it all over again now because of the new pose. She's been in the same look for so long. To see it in a different, completely different pose is just awesome. The fact that she comes with four arms, so two completely different sets of arms and different poses. Three head sculpts. Yeah. Do love them all, but I just think this has the most attitude with the goggles down. Very cool look for her. incredible detail on the outfit and decided to rock this one on the shelf as well because I love that statue that's a really really nice looking piece and then the premium format by Sideshow another one of my absolute favorite Catwoman pieces repainted the eyes the lips 
all around the, the eye makeup as well. It's a really cool piece. Very much reminds me of the Adam Hughes Catwoman again. And then you've got the tweeter head Michelle Pfeiffer statue. And a Adam Hughes official statue there. And a uh, Play Arts Kai Arkham City Poison Ivy figure. And some old 1989 Batman stuff from when I was a kid. But that is a pretty cool little Catwoman section with the extra little dose of Poison Ivy, but mainly Catwoman. But that new pose on the Prime One piece is outstanding. Look at that. Perfect. That diamond has a real nice shine to it. Two of those down there, red and blue. Beautiful base, I mean it's huge, it's so heavy, but it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Such amazing detail. Incredible work. And then the Batman Begins Necker figure. That's pretty much all stock, but I did repaint the mouth section. That is an incredible figure. He's not even using a stand, he's just standing there on his own right now. He is standing on a base, but he doesn't have anything actually holding him up. He stands up pretty damn well. That is a great, great piece. Nekka did an amazing job with that. Super poseable, unlike all the other Batman Begins figures. There is the Beast by Interbay. A custom velvet cape. Just an amazing, very accurate looking Batman Begins piece. Very special piece to me. A yeah, little Batman statue up there on a gargoyle. Cape all blowing in the wind. It's pretty fancy. There's the Hot Toys Batman Begins. Just got the cape over the shoulders to reveal the detail of the suit. And then the Dark Knight Rises Hot Toys quarter scale figure with a custom velvet cape by Jackson. Very, very accurate looking piece that one. So that's it folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you did don't forget to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon next to the subscription button, that way you'll get email notifications every time I upload some new content, and I hope you're all enjoying the hobby, and thank you to everyone who turns up to the live streams on Fridays, they're a lot of fun, you guys are amazing, absolute pleasure checking in with you guys, seeing what you're up to. Uh, let me know in the comments, just out of curiosity, uh, which figures are your favorites from the collection here. Maybe pick three, you know, which three things, not necessarily a figure, might be the mask here, maybe a Art the Clown statue. But curious to know what you think. I want to say a really special thank you to everyone out there over the years who's contributed to the channel, man. Just amazing people, amazing gestures, stuff like Wonder Woman, that Superman. This head sculpt from Mr. Stephen Maurice, the pumpkin head from Mark and Irene, also the Vampirella there. Just so many little things in this collection are here because of people's kindness in the community and just don't think that it ever goes, you know, I don't want to take it for granted, I don't want to let you guys think, alright Ruby, she's getting impatient. We're going, alright, bedtime. But honestly guys, thank you so much for all you've done. For the channel over the years and i'll keep pumping out videos for you i'll be here as long as i can be getting it done for you keeping you entertained and just thank you all the patrons as well thank you for sticking with me just thank you for your kindness thanks for showing up to the live streams thanks for the comments the thumbs up and the kind words that i get sent through on instagram and facebook i'm sorry i can't reply to everybody uh, i'm overwhelmed by the fact that so many people would want to ask me questions or just send me pictures of their collection i try to check out as much as i can um, if I don't get back to you, maybe jump on a live stream on the Fridays and jog my memory then and I'll make a point of uh, catching up. You know, it's just tricky keeping track of everybody, but there's so many of you guys out there and it's a beautiful thing. So, thanks again everyone. 
and I will be back with you real soon. I'm going to bring you a video on some amazing custom 1-6 scale weapons made by Shadow Fergo, including my Scream Knife, an awesome weapon from Halloween Kills, and a few other bits and pieces as well. Plus that review on the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween Kills mask, which is coming to me sooner than I thought. So I think it's actually being released pretty, pretty soon. I guess a week from now, maybe. Could be wrong, but I'm really looking forward to bringing you that review. This is just one of my favorite pieces in the room, man. This mask is so accurate. Even the hair, just nasty. Amazing work from Simon. Make sure you check him out on Instagram, Simon Brandolino. All right. Always a pleasure, guys. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon.